Hi, today we are going to study knapsack using backtracking problem. Knapsack problem solved using backtracking method. Already we have solved knapsack using dynamic programming and greedy programming. Today we are going to see third approach to solve the same problem. The knapsack problem is a collection of there are an object over which each object i is having equivalent a wi and a profit pi and capacity of knapsack is given as capital m here we have to find out those set of objects which can fill up knapsack completely and earn maximum profit as possible with the help of example let us knapsack problem how it is getting solved using backtracking so given list of three items where each item's weight and profit is being mentioned in table item 1 is having weight 1 and price 25 item 2 is having weight 15 and price 24 item 3 is having weight 10 and price 15 and capacity of knapsack is given as 20. First step is to calculate profit by weight ratio of each item, that is, Pi by Wi in a table. So we will calculate 25 by 80, 24 by 15, and 15 by 10. The respective ratios are 1.3, 1.6, and 1.5. Second step is to sort the table in a descending order of profit by weight ratio. So we will first put item number 2 which is having highest profit by weight ratio that is 1.6. Second item will be item number 3 with profit by weight ratio of 1.5 and last item will be item number 1 with profit by weight ratio as 1.5. Now, next step is to calculate current profit, current weight, and upper bound. Now, from this step, we are going to generate our backtracking tree. For that, we have to first calculate upper bound. Initially, NASDAQ is empty and having capacity of 20 units. So, initially, no profit is gained with the help of blank or empty knapsack and its current weight is equal to also 0. The upper bound at that particular point is calculated as current profit plus capacity minus weight into profit by weight ratio of next item. For a root node of state state 3, we have to calculate upper bound as Current profit is 0 initially plus capacity of knapsack is equal to 20 and current weight of the knapsack is 0 at this particular point into profit by weight ratio of this item. So the very first item that we must select for putting inside knapsack is item number 2. So here profit by weight ratio of item number 2 is substituted. This will result in value 32. So that will become upper bound inside root node of state space 3 of the knapsack using backtrack. Now we have to expand this tree in some order. So we are working with item 2, which is the very first item that I must select as my first choice. Now this item can either placed inside knapsack or it won't be placed inside knapsack. So if item 2 is selected inside knapsack, we say that branch is equal to 1. And if item 2 is not placed inside knapsack, we say that branch is equal to 0. We will calculate two nodes of each branch and start working them. 
a year starting with item number 2 with branch number 1 that is item 2 is be selected if item 2 is selected and placed inside knapsack the weight of knapsack will increase by the weight of item number 2 and the profit of knapsack also increase by the profit of item number 2 so the current weight is equal to previous weight that is the weight of top node that is the root node plus the weight of item number 2 that is 0 plus 15. Current profit is equal to previous profit plus the item 2 profit that is 0 plus 24. Using these values we are going to calculate upper bound. So upper bound is equal to current profit that is equal to 24 plus capacity minus weight. Weight of item 2 is 15, that's why we write 20 minus 15 into profit by weight ratio of next item. If we are currently working for item number 2, next item that we must consider for knapsack is item number 3 that we are looking inside a table. So the profit by weight ratio of item number 3 is being substituted in an equation. The final value that come up for upper bound is 31.5. Upper bound of left node is 31.5. Now coming towards the right node. That is when branch where item 2 is equal to 0. That means item 2 is not selected inside knapsack. The current weight of knapsack will be previous weight plus weight of item 2. If item 2 is not selected, its weight won't get added inside knapsack and its profit will also not get added inside knapsack. So current weight and current profit will be same as its parent node. So we are copying values 0 and 0 from each node which is the parent node of current node. Now using these values, we are going to calculate upper bound. Upper bound is calculated as current profit which is equal to 0 plus capacity minus weight of an item. Capacity of knapsack is 20 and weight of item I2 is 15. Even though it is not selected, in a formula we have to consider its weight. We have not considered its weight in current weight of knapsack. But in formula we are going to substitute its value. So 20 minus 15 will be our second term. The last term is profit by weight ratio of next item that we have to consider for knapsack. So currently we are working for item number 2. The next item that we have to consider is item number 3. Whose profit by weight ratio is 1.5. So that value is substituted in an equation. So here the final value is 7.5. So upper bound of right node is 7.5. Now the decision has to be taken the which branch is to explore or which node is to be selected as E node whose children need to be regenerated. So we have to compare those nodes whose upper bound is maximum. So out of these two nodes that is 31.5 and 7.5, we will select only that node whose upper bound is maximum. And that node will become my next E node and its children will get generated. So we are comparing two upper bounds of children that is 31.5 and 7.5. We will explore that branch which is having maximum upper bound that is 31.5. Now from table we can see that next item is I3. So these two branches will have table as item 3 equal to 1 that means item 3 is selected and second branch as item 3 is equal to 0 that is item 3 is not selected and we have weight, current weight, current profit and upper bound will be calculated. Let us start with left side node where item 3 is equal to 1 
like me, we like it. Weight of knapsack. Current weight of knapsack is calculated as previous weight plus weight of item 3. So the previous weight of knapsack is obtained from a parent node. In a parent node, previous value is 15. So the new value of current weight will be the previous value 15 plus weight of item 3. That is equal to plus 10. At this particular moment, note that current weight of a knapsack is exceeding capacity of a knapsack. That is, current weight is equal to 25, while capacity of a knapsack given in question is 20. So, the branch which will lead to a solution with this particular node might not be correct a solution. So, we must bound our node at this particular location. So, we are not going to calculate profit and upper bound because this page is exceeding capacity of knapsack. Now, we will work with another branch that is where item number 3 is not selected. If item 3 is not selected and put it inside knapsack, the value and the profit and weight of the knapsack is not going to change. So, current weight and current profit of this node is just copied from its parent node. So, current weight will be 15 and current profit will be 24 as it is. Only value that we have to calculate is upper bound. Upper bound of node is calculated as current profit that is, is equal to 24 plus capacity minus weight of an item IQ that is 20 minus 10 into profit by weight ratio of next item. We are currently at item number 3 so the next item will be item number 1 whose profit by weight ratio is 1.3 so the value 1.3 is substituted in equation. Now the value that that is evaluated as 37. The upper bound of the current node will be 37. Now, but before we explore a node, we have to compare the upper bound of those nodes which can grow. Now, there are two nodes which can generate more branches or which can generate children. So, we will compare value of about 37 with value of about 7.5. Whoever's value is maximum will get selected branch for exploration. So, we are currently selecting this particular node as our next node and we will generate this children. Now, we are working with item number 1. So, the branches that are generated are item number 1 is equal to 1 that is item 1 is selected and item 1 is equal to 0 that is item 1 is not selected. So finally we have arrived at item number 1. For each of these nodes we have to generate or we have to calculate current weight, current profit and upper bound. If item 1 is selected its weight will get added with current weight of knapsack. So, the previous weight of knapsack is 15. If item 1 is selected, its weight will get added. That is 15 plus 18. Now, this total current weight is exceeding the capacity of knapsack, which is equal to 20. So, ultimately 33 is equal to 20. We must bound this node as dead node. And we must explore another branch. In other branch, item 1 is not selected. If item 1 is not selected, its weight won't get added inside a knapsack. So, the capacity or current weight of a knapsack will remain as it is. So, previously current weight was 50. Here, also we will copy current weight from parent node. That is equal to 50. If item is not selected, its profit is also not get added. So, we are copying current profit also from its parent node. Upper bound is calculated as current profit that is equal to 24 plus capacity minus weight of an item. Capacity of knapsack is 20 and weight of an item 1 is 20 into profit by weight of next item. We don't have any more items in our list. 
So this is the last item for which we are working. That's why profit by weight ratio of next item is equal to C. So that is getting substituted. The so final upper bound is equal to 24. Its value is being put it inside this particular node. Now we have to select only that node which can explore and having maximum upper bound. Now out of 7.5 and 24, maximum value is 24. So we have to explore this particular node. But are there any items which are left to get selected or deselected? No, there were only 3 items and we have worked for all 3 items. So here we don't have any more items which are left to get selected. So this is the branch which is leading to our final solution vector. So there is item 2. We will work with the branch from root node and trace the branches which is leading towards our solution or answer state. The first branch is highlighted. Item number 2 is equal to 1. That is item 2 is selected. Second branch is item 3 is equal to 0. Item 3 is not selected. And the final branch is item 3, 1 is equal to 0. Item 1 is not selected. So solution vector for I1, I2, I3 is equal to 0, 1, 0. For your practice, an exercise is given which is consisting of set of 4 items whose respective weight and profit is specified. Here you have to work for max set of capacity using backtracking method. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Mundia Topia. Bye.